Hi, uh, we are here in Mobile World Congress and now we are visiting SAS booth and we are having the opportunity to talk to Ad Adrian Carr. Adrian Carr is manager of customer intelligence practice here for Europe and Adrian, nice to have you in your nice video. You. <laughs> and um, uh, we know that um, you, you, you have, you had the opportunity to support several telcos in this customer intelligence journey. And considering that uh, in this congress, the main topic is intelligence, intelligent connectivity. I'd like uh, to. To listen and to know your vision about the importance of specifically optimization for this customer intelligence journey telcos in order to have more intelligence okay well the first point i would make is that um, within the marketing world things haven't changed too much um, we still kind of like have lots of customers out there and we have lots of offers to get to them so ultimately, we still have that challenge of which offers do we make to which customers? Um, and that fundamentally is an optimization challenge. Um, if you have millions of customers, hundreds of offers, you need a tool to help you differentiate that. What has changed over the years is there are just more channels, more different types of communicating to people, more types of offers, for example, more subtle offers, for example. Customer journeys are coming into it. So the, um, the impact of multiple uh, communications is having a big impact as well. And what telcos are trying to do is balance lots of different KPIs. There's revenue to worry about, there's churn to worry about, there's just a total number of customers to worry about, for example. And that's quite difficult. Optimization gives you the levers and the tools in order to be able to do that. Um, so telcos can maximize their revenue and reduce cost. Probably the number of communications they make as well can reduce because they're getting more uh, focused communications too. Um, and this can be a real differentiator, I think, for telcos. I think the other thing I would say is that for telcos, it doesn't have to be necessarily really complicated. I want to work for a telco. What they wanted to do, they just wanted to maximize their reach to their customers. And they found it very difficult to manage all of their contact rules and stay relevant to customers. However, with an optimal optimization approach, they're able to keep all of their stakeholders happy. And I think that's kind of like helping with the intelligence and the connectivity as it gets more and more complex in this world today. Okay, and um, who do you share uh, some success case in this, in this topic, optimization for telcos? Yeah, I think the key thing really is around uh, KPI performance improvement. Uh -huh. Sometimes uh, telcos want to increase ARPU, for example. Sometimes they want to reduce cost. Uh -huh. Generally, unless a customer or a client, for example, is already using an optimization tool, um, the improvement in one of those KPIs can be as much as 20%. And the nice thing is you can actually tweak that as well. You can maybe say, I want, to, I want 10% more revenue and I want 10% less cost. Uh -huh. So you can keep everyone happy. But in all the optimization projects I've done, the minimum improvement in terms of the return on the campaign investment is 20%. So that's really something that telcos can benefit from. Um, in the market, um, we, it's very common to, to listen about optimization. But it seems that in most cases, they, they are referring to prioritization. Yes. Can you explain us uh, the difference between prioritization and our proposal with optimization? Yes, certainly. It's a good question. Um, with optimization, uh, the English language definition just means make something better, essentially. And people overuse that word, I think. Fundamentally, what's behind our tool is linear programming techniques. Now, linear programming techniques, um, what they do is they look at all the different combinations that exist within a customer base, for example, and all the different communications that you can make. Um, the challenge is the number of different combinations is huge, and traditional linear programming techniques cannot solve that. Now, the way most uh, people try and uh, solve that problem is they have a hierarchical approach or a prioritization approach, as you say. You pick the highest number, you move down to the next person. That misses the trade-offs that exist when you consider all the different combinations. Um, SAS has a kind of like uh, a very
very good solution where we simplify the problem without losing any value. And as such, we can come up with these optimization solutions, true optimization solutions, much quicker than using both a prioritized approach and much better results. And that's where we see the huge value increases coming. Okay, I got it. Thank you, Adrian. Not I hope to see you in Brazil soon. Okay? Bye-bye. <laughs>